all right um loved ones uh connecting with me this is your friend your pastor your author your blogger your mentor your leader uh henry do you do appear and today i just want to give some summaries of my books that i've written by god's grace i have written over i think 90 books as of now on the amazon kindle so you can see this is my kindle uh, software on my pc on my smartphone to have a kindle uh, app so where i used to read it uh, my kindle book so these are some of my books a few of them as you can see here these are a few of the books i've written this i think about 36 books so i would like to just um give a glance of the books or give a summary of the books to help you know what uh, the books about so once again uh this is your friend uh henry diodu apia Kran. and i think if you don't know my blog uh please check on my blog uh www.rockofheaven.com rockofheaven.com r-o-c-k-o-f-h-e-a-v-e-n.com and check on my blog and then connect with my uh, articles so you can see some of my books here let me try and open this book uh, one of my book called 40 effective evangelism strategy so let me come here uh go to the beginning of the book so let me make it a full screen out here so you can see so uh we go here that is 40 effective evangelism strategies on common keys to a successful uh so in by diodu henry that's my name here so uh we you see some of my books are written some of my books are written here other books uh, as you can see uh, are all here on their on amazon and also they are free on my blog as so if you go to my blog you can download my free books out there so we come to the table of content uh, that's the introduction section in chapter one i gave the mandate of evangelism uh, that is um why we must uh, do evangelism so child of god understand that um evangelism is very very important in our journey of life evangelism is very, very important so if you read my book in the chapter one i give the, the the significance of evangelism and why we must evangelize so when you get to chapter two I gave seven fundamentals to effective evangelism. That is, uh, what are some of the key principles you must know about evangelism? So I, I wrote that you must be born again. You must be full of divine power. You must break the ground. You must engage the people. Be one with the logos. Revive the city place and engage the Holy Spirit. So let me just explain one of the, the the fundamentals here. So you must be born again. So before you start evangelism you must be born again you must repent from yours because if you are not born again your words will not bear fruit so you must be born again so that your evangelism is very effective you must be full of divine power because most time you encounter some kind of demonic powers who try to limit you you must break the ground there are some branches out there if you don't break the altars that the demonic powers on that ground you cannot uh, do a successful um, evangelism when you say evangelism simply means that uh, you win souls for Christ. I get it, me. You bring souls who are going to the lake of fire to hell, and you convert them to Christ, to Jesus. That is about evangelism. So you win a soul for Christ. So if you check the seven fundamentals of uh, evangelism, you can see out there in chapter three. I gave seven tactical approach uh, to uh, a fruitful evangelism. Well, we have different types of. We have the fictional approach. We have judgmental approach sympathetic approach biblical approach experiential approach power approach and logical approach are you getting me so um in preaching the gospel in winning souls for christ you have to know the the strategy you must use because some people you have to use a fictional approach and you have to use judgmental approach like for example the fictional approach you can use maybe a story to to, to let them know about uh the word of god in a judgmental approach you can use you go straight to the point you, you you let them know the dangers of why they must be saved you try the sympathetic approach it all works the biblical approach you use the bible to explain to them experiential approach maybe use your own experience how you became saved power approach maybe true deliverance logical approach because some people need to be uh some are very logically uh strong so you must use some kind of logics to help them know about christ so we read all this place you can see this powerful 
Revelation out, they go to chapter 4, I give the hard truth about evangelism. The hard truth about evangelism. So in chapter 5, I give uh, the 16 types and then strategies to an effective evangelism. So we have the one-on-one -on -one evangelism, we have group evangelism, mass evangelism, we have done evangelism, we have street evangelism, we have video evangelism, radio preaching, television evangelism, local center evangelism, online evangelism, written evangelism, prayer evangelism, music evangelism, undercover evangelism, authoritative, so self-evangelism. All these are types and then levels and models of evangelism you must know and you must know all these things before you enter there to preach the gospel in chapter 6 i gave the heartbeat of god that is so winning and evangelism so that is we know that the heartbeat of god that he needs people to be saved that god wants people to be saved to come to know about christ so that they can receive deliverance from the power of darkness so that they can reconcile back to christ so in chapter 6 i wrote additional ways to preach the gospel and in chapter 7 i also gave 40 reasons why we must preach the word of god in chapter 7 you can see here i gave uh 40 reasons why we must preach um the the, the gospel and then i think uh, in chapter 8 i gave 40 reasons why we must study the word of god so just a few of the books so you see the overview out here so um uh the key element of this book i've reviewed the best principles i use in winning souls into the kingdom of god you explore uh seven fundamental uh principles seven fundamental principles i think of successful evangelism you uncover seven ways to preach the gospel you know the main reasons uh why you must evangelize why evangelism fails. people preach they preach and it doesn't succeed so you know why evangelism fails you also get to know the book of Father teach you the heart to of evangelism. You explore 40 uh, strategic ways to win souls into the kingdom of God. And the book will reveal to you the best practical ways. And you explore 40 biblical. So, this is a very powerful book you must read. So, your dream of becoming a fruitful evangelist and kingdom millionaire is about to break loose. So, uh, if you win souls for Christ, they are reward. They are treasures that you get when you win souls and establish them in a kingdom. So, uh, this the introduction you read through you read you read all uh chapter two you go out there you can read so chapter uh you see the chapter two out there so you read the books all this place you must know all this is so child of god uh try and then read a book it will help you powerfully uh, get it on, on amazon also free on my blog as well to help you know more about evangelism so i will not go much into this so let's go back to the library and see another of my books i wrote how to write and publish books let me go to this side let me see okay let me try the other books okay how i wrote no let me see this book whether okay let me use this one as well how to write and publish books uh let go to the beginning out there so um how to write and publish books so let me zoom it so this is the um how to write and publish so these are this is the title of the book how to write and publish books and the subtitle is called proving and simplify principles to help you write publish and market your books and by god's grace i've written over 90 books so these are practical keys you can use to write books hope you're getting my point these are not theory these are not theoretical theory these are not theoretical no these are practical experiential ways to write what i'm teaching you it works my life so i think i wrote this book 2019 or so 2020 and i published the book so uh, let's go to um the uh, introduction the table of content so in chapter one introduction out there in chapter one you can see you must be a reader let's read the introduction before i saw an introduction writing an article a book is easy if you know the strategy and principles I've simplified the principles I used to write, self-publish, and market my books in this book. Um, uh, so, you can also write books if others have done it. Don't limit yourself because the world needs your book. So, you find out in a uh, proven principle that can help you write, that helped me to write, self-publish, and market my books in this book. You become 
a successful author, publisher, and marketer when you follow these proven principles. I think when I checked um, my my history about the books I've sold on Amazon, it's more than ten thousand USD dollars. I just checked it, and after the tax, Amazon took about it over three thousand dollars tax, and I think after that I got over eight thousand dollars of all the books as of now, and I it just a few marketing I've done so. It is something that is working. So, if you read this book, you get practical ways, uh, practical keys that will help you to to become a writer. So, in the table of content, we can see here, you must be a reader. Mm, you must write it. You must seek knowledge. You must. Uh, um, so it goes out there. I gave the practical keys on how to write books. So let me give some of the keys on how to write books. And I said earlier that these are practical keys that I use to write my book. So. Let's say you want to write non-fictional books or fictional books, you must be a lover of the books you want to write. So, for example, you want to write non-fictional books, then you must devour non-fictional books. You must read non-fiction. If you want to write fictional books, then read fictional books. The more you read a book, it helps you build your writing skills. For me, uh, when idea comes in into me, I jot the idea that maybe in a notepad, maybe in an exercise book, and from there I can build on that. Um, uh, point I've written so I use these channels to write many books and I also love to read a lot I read non-fictional books I am into different kinds of uh, section my main theme is a non-fictional book so I write about Christianity about self-help about leadership about politics but my main theme is a religious book that is Christian books so if you get this book how to write and publish book and i also book titled uh you can let me go and see whether uh, this book to uh this one mm, uh, this book to uh artist how i wrote over 40 books and over 30 articles within three years it's a very powerful book uh they are free on my blog so read that book it will help you practically uh to know much about the writing uh skill so these are a few books I've written, and then I think uh, when we come to which book again should I show to you? Uh, let me see um, which book, which book should I show to you? So I think they are enough. Uh, okay, let me show this book to you too. Um, when I get a time, I'll take my time, then you go over them one by one. Like over the books I've written, over 90 books, I'll take my time. Maybe I'll use maybe a day to dedicate and then I'll go through one of my books. You read it together. I will explain them to you. I will give you the, the summary, the overview and what the book talks about. So let me just um, explain this book to you. I think this one I've not downloaded it uh, on my Kindle version. So let me, I just made a PowerPoint on this book. So let me see whether I can find it. Whether it's, it's minimized here. Um, okay. I think it's here. So um if we come here this is a book that um yeah so that is how to write how to live how to walk and live in the spirit that is on maxing the practice about the spirit soul and body um so it goes that way so this is how the book how to walk and live in the spirit how to walk and live in the spirit and on maxing deeper truth about the spirit soul and body of humankind and how they relate with the Holy Spirit. I encourage you to get this book. I encourage you to, to download this book. It will be practical. So, when it comes to the introduction, chapter one, I give in the Garden of Eden, chapter two, the seven master keys on how to work in the spirit, the faith key, the the, the grace key, the um, about seven master keys out there. Chapter three, we come to understanding creation and and the concept of man, how God created. Um, human being and how it relate to us working in the spirit in chapter 4 i gave vital keys to unlocking the spiritual realm no so i explain about the human spirit the human soul the human body and i also explain the seven entry points of spiritual forces or spiritual beings and i gave more revelations about the trinity of humankind and then more revelations about the human spirit then we, we just come to the outward presence called an vision of the holy spirit in chapter 5 I gave deep mysteries about the spirit, the soul, and the flesh. The spirit, so the power of the word, ways the Holy Spirit speaks to us. You see, the Holy Spirit, He speaks to us. So, you must know some of the ways that the Holy Spirit he speaks to us. 
So I also explain how I wrote the details, the workings of the human soul, the spiritual prosperity. So difference between the spirit minded and then the soulish because you can be sometimes you might think you are spiritual and you must know who is a spiritual person and you must know who is a soulish person sometimes your soul can control you. so you must know the difference between who is a spirit mind person who is a soulish person in chapter 6 i explain you the imitating the spiritual life of jesus christ and um, uh, how jesus christ was able to work with the holy spirit in the bible it is um, confirmed in several places of the Holy Bible that Jesus Christ lived a sinless life. So I gave the seven master keys on how Jesus Christ was able to live a sinless life and how we can imitate the lifestyle of Jesus the Christ. So I get a book in chapter 6 in very different link out there. And in chapter 7, I gave the power of fasting and prayers. And I also get some revelations, some visions, some spe my special encounters, my vision I had about some men of God and ministers. In chapter 8, I explain exercising the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Chapter 9, I explain exercising the gift of the Holy Spirit, the power of spiritual. You see, the fruit of the Spirit, the gift of the Spirit, um, the voice of the Spirit, the leadership of the Spirit, the work of the Spirit. It's a very powerful thing you must know. To work in the spirit, you must know you must know how to exercise the fruit of the spirit as is said in Galatians chapter 5, verse number 22. So you must also know the gift of the spirit to know how to work in the spirit. So in chapter 10, I give the battle between the spirit and then the flesh. You see, there is a battle going on between the Holy Spirit and then our flesh. The Bible says in Galatians 5 16 that, so that uh, this I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So sometimes you want to walk in the spirit, you want to walk with the Holy Spirit, you want to walk in the power gift, you want to exercise the, 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 the gift and then to walk in the ways of God. The flesh will try to limit you. So there is a battle going on. So I explain to mysteries about the battle between the flesh and then the Holy Spirit and how to dominate the desires of the flesh. So I also gave some mysteries about the tongue of the flesh, revelation about the tongue of the flesh and the ability to walk. So in chapter 11, I gave the uh, seven secret seals of every believer. So every believer has some secrets you must know to help in chapter 12. I gave the vital enemies of the Holy Spirit because uh, to walk in the spirit, you must know the enemy of the Holy Spirit so that you can overcome these enemies. I also gave some powerful revelation. So get a book out there. So uh, in chapter 13 to i gave some practical ways to connect with the holy spirit. i think i get about uh 10 keys to help you work with the holy spirit so you get a book and then read it it will help you practically so introduction out there you can see here in his letters to the church in galatia apostle paul besieges the christian believers to work and live in the spirit so as i thought about this holy scripture if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit that is galatians chapter 5 verse 6 number 25 so the spirit of god gave me a revelation to write a book on this topic so we must understand that a christian believer is a new creature with a divine mindset molded and crafted in the mindset of christ jesus that is second corinthians 5 17 where the bible says that if any man be in christ he's a new creature the old has passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, with this new mindset, we can tap into the wisdom of God, because Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. That is First Corinthians one, uh, verse twenty-four. So, when you repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit enters and abides in your heart. That is First Corinthians one twenty-four. The Holy Spirit is a personal guide to every believer in Christ Jesus. Mm? Is the right person to guide our lives in this corrupt and wicked world most of the time the unbelievers oppose the lives of the christian believers because they live with a dark mindset that is second corinthians chapter 4 verse number 4 read up please and see that christians do not operate uh, as the unbelievers operate mm, the world or the unbelievers opposes the believers ways of life because the world lies in darkness so god commands every believer to love uh, the world mm, and not the things in it so 
if you read all this thing, this interact section, you come you come here you interact section out here, you get to understand that this um um practical key. So in, in summary, this book gives you an in-depth revelation, biblical keys, experiential knowledge, practical and divine keys that will enable you to walk and live in the spirit. I believe you are about to explore the uncommon wisdom keys that allow mature christian believers to reach their maximum level in their spiritual life so this is the title of the book you can see here and some of the books have written a few books i've written here how to worship god in spirit and in truth how to break the spirit of inferiority take responsibility how african and poor countries can develop that is 40 divided evangelism dominating the dark kingdom uh wisdom keys uh 777 on common benefit of reading books mm, so all these things you must know and i think uh over about 70 books i think i check on amazon about 90 books as of now so you download the books and then read them to help you pass in life so you can read more uh on uh that is www.rockofheaven.com so the books are available on, on amazon so uh also as i said earlier that um uh, how do you call it over 50 books are free on my blog that is uh, rockofheaven.com if you go to my blog over 50 books are free on my blog so child of god try and get the books to help you practically uh in your life so when we come to um i was explaining this book i just changed the book cover someone made a new book cover for me so this is the old uh book cover for the book i just explained how to work and live uh, someone design a new book i have a, a book cover designer who edit who uh, design my book covers for me so child of god don't uh limit yourself how if i get a time i'll i'll take my time to explain all the books i read this book too you must also read it it, it also hyphen very well so i think um I, i'm not done okay let me see what i am it uh this book uh this book okay so how to work with the holy spirit try and get a book uh to help you it's a free book on amazon it's free and also how to grow in around the spirit spiritual law spiritual codes um so it all goes out there and also the book and uh, it's called that a grief not the holy spirit so child of god you get the books they will help you practically in your creation and so once again this your friend your pastor Henry, you do appear crime as time goes on. I will um, dive more deeper into my books and they will help you in your Christian. But let Jesus be your focus because Christ is the only one that can help us in our end of us. Like without Jesus Christ, we are nothing. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot walk with Jesus. So build yourself in Christ by having time with the Word of God, by having time with your fasting life, and then align with the holy spirit align with the holy spirit by god's grace, i have about i think about seven books about the holy spirit one is called how to walk and live in the spirit how to walk with the holy spirit uh grief not the holy spirit how to activate the presence of the holy spirit um there are there are several books about eight or nine books that are on the holy spirit and because i wrote i took my time to write on this because the holy spirit is very real child of god the holy spirit is very 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 real so uh don't uh, uh, uh downplay the holy spirit like raise up book how to train the human spirit i think let me go i've not downloaded it uh let me see whether i will download on the books so, so you just get the books and it will help you in your christian life so i'll end it here once again, this is your friend, your pastor, Henry Diodu Apiakran. Share this video with your loved ones on all social media channels. Uh, and then let them share it. It will bless their life. God bless you. And God increase you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.